doggies. I'm Aaron from PhoneDog.com, and yes, it's that time again. Welcome to week 28 in PhoneDog's official smartphone rankings, the recap at least. I'm here to recap the smartphones on the Experts Choice Chart and on the People's Choice Chart in PhoneDog's official smartphone rankings. If you haven't voted, go cast your vote, PhoneDog.com slash rankings. Be sure to leave a review as well. Tell us why you love that phone as much as you do. You got a 1X, you got a Galaxy S3, write it down. Tell us why you love it, what you don't like about it, those things that make you excited, those things that make you mad. Tell us at PhoneDog.com slash rankings, but be sure to cast your vote. First, now this is week 28, it wrapped up last week and we're seeing some similar trends on the chart, but it's gonna be an exciting quarter four because we've got the iPhone 5 coming out, the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 coming out, and a bevy of other devices that are on their way for quarter four. So without further ado, let's take a look. It's the People's Choice Chart as voted on by you in Phone Dog's official smartphone rankings. Coming in, bam, in fifth place, you like that? Bam, in fifth place. That's a little questionable at best. The Apple iPhone 4S with 51 votes. Now this thing is long in the tooth. It's getting ready to be replaced tomorrow by the Apple iPhone 5, but it's got a 3.5 inch retina display, an eight megapixel camera, and now iOS 6 as well. It's in fifth place on the People's Choice chart with 51 votes. In fourth place with 103 votes, the Samsung Galaxy Nexus. Now this thing has Jelly Bean, the global version, has a 1.2 gigahertz dual core TI OMAP processor, a 4.65 inch Super AMOLED HD display, a five megapixel camera, and you get to take advantage of that latest version of Android in a stock build at that. It's fourth place with 103 votes. In third place, the Nokia Lumia 900 with 111 votes. I'm not sure why I'm so excited while I'm doing this. Of course I know why I'm excited. This is the official smartphone rankings. 111 votes, the Nokia Lumia 900 has a 1.4 gigahertz single core processor, an eight megapixel camera, a 4.3 inch display, and Windows Phone 7.5. Now, the Lumia 920 is on the way, another exciting smartphone in the fourth quarter, and it's packing Windows Phone 8. So expect to see that coming soon on the official smartphone rankings. In second place, with 134 votes, the HTC One X. It's got a 1.5 gigahertz dual core Snapdragon S4 CPU in the US, an eight megapixel camera, a 4.7 inch display, and Android 4.0 with HTC Sense version four. Hopefully we'll see Jelly Bean come out on that device soon, but for right now, second place with 134 votes. And in first place with 376 votes, holding the first place title yet again, the Samsung Galaxy S3. I guess I should do my little one thing for the, I feel like I'm doing the Ricky Bobby thing. Ricky Bobby. First place, Samsung Galaxy S3 with 376 votes, a 1.5 gigahertz dual core Snapdragon S4 CPU on the US version, 4G LTE connectivity, two gigabytes of RAM and Android 4.0 with Samsung's TouchWiz user interface. That's the people's choice chart on the experts chart. In fifth place, the Samsung Galaxy Nexus Global. In fourth place, the Samsung Galaxy S3 Global, which is a little bit different from the internet, or excuse me, the US version, because it has one gigabyte of RAM, no 4G LTE connectivity, but it does have a quad-core Exynos processor. In third place, the Apple iPhone 4S. In second place, the HTC One X. And holding on to first place also on the experts chart, the Samsung Galaxy S3 US version. That's week 28. And if you're wondering how your individual experts voted, go to phonedog.com slash rankings, click on the experts button, and you can see how I voted, how my team voted, how a bunch of experts in the industry voted on Phone Dog's official smartphone rankings. I'm Aaron from phonedog.com. I'll be back next week as voting recaps or it finishes up, rather, to recap, rather. I said that three times. I said that backwards. Say it three times fast. It's kind of hard when you're doing improv. I'll be back to recap next week's votes, so stay tuned for week 29 in Phone Dog's official smartphone rankings. In the meantime, go cast your vote. PhoneDog.com slash rankings. Tell us why you love that device as much as you do. Tell us what you love or what you hate about it, and cast your vote because your voice can make a difference in the industry. I'll see you next week. Until then, cast your vote. Enter the greatest tech giveaway ever, too and have an awesome weekend.